Dave Burkett here, along with Jeff Seidel and Sean Windsor. Arrowhead Stadium, site of the Lions. 21-20 win over the Kansas City Chiefs, guys. Best win I can remember for the Lions in a long time, just with the magnitude of it. First game, banner-raising ceremony. And I think the way that they accomplished it, it sort of says everything that we already kind of knew or hoped, figured maybe that these Lions would be. Well, it's certainly the best regular season. I mean, when can you think of another? Nothing since, you've been since you've been covering this team? The Packers one last year was a very good win, yeah. but um, I think this one on this stage to start the season, you know, because they didn't make the playoffs with that one this year, this just this just starts off and, everything. That, and as Dan Campbell said after the game, he believed this, right? He didn't learn anything new. He learned he it was verified. It, right. or it got verification, I think, was the yeah. phrase he used. So that's important, too, I, I think, in a way, right? It, it wasn't just the way they played. It was how they responded to some adversity. They did not play a perfect game. They had no. fumble, a botched snap. They had miscommunications, some things they have to clean up. But by the end, it was let's go Lions and Arrowhead. And there were no Chiefs fans. It was Lions fans, maybe 10,000. It was... Chalk it up to something I never thought I would ever see. Well, here, here's the other thing, right? I mean, that, yeah, we know the Lions fans have been traveling for decades. God bless you. You know, we're grateful. That's why we're here. I mean, it's, it's awesome. You know, everybody, I mean, right? Then the rest of the country deserves to know about this fan base. But to me, the defense won the game. Right. They didn't convert a third down in the, in the second half. When's the last time we were talking about the Lions winning the game defensively? Sean, I think you're right. I mean, the, 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 Look, we all knew, figured the Lions would have a good offense, and it wasn't there the whole time today. I mean, they didn't they didn't move the ball well. They they scored a touchdown after the the fake punt, and then they they you know David Montgomery had the, the one at the end. They grounded out in the four minute offense when they needed to. But that defense, which was been the Achilles heel heel the last two years, I think we all looked at it this summer during training camp, and we said they're going to be better. They're much deeper. Maybe they don't quite have those big time playmakers, but they're a pretty good unit. And then to prove it, even though the Chiefs didn't have Travis Kelsey. They weren't 100%. Patrick Mahomes' receivers dropped a lot of passes, but I think the Lions' defense came up with big plays when uh, they needed to. And at a moment in the game when I thought the Lions were going to lose this game, a rookie safety it does an amazing play and takes it to the house. Brian Branch had that interception, returned 50 yards for a touchdown. Off of deflection, right? Off, yeah. of, off, of, off of, you know, drop pass by a receiver, essentially, right? Hit him in the body. Josh Paschal had the big third and one stop. Um, blew, you know, just blew through, right? Like a dolphin breaking the surface of the water. He just, just took, it was unbelievable. But it was a little uh, trickery attempt by Andy Reid, by the way, right? a direct snap, and he sniffed it out. And that's and that's the other thing. Dan Campbell, sometimes we think about the way he talks and the rah-rah and all that, but he knows what's coming, right? And he sees things. He sees this game at a very, very high level. Look, I mean, we all know in the NFL these things, right? It's... It's a matter of inches. It's it's the same for a reason. Benito Jones nearly jumps offside. Probably was offside. Alex Anzalone said he did a good job of getting back on sides. If the Chiefs snap the ball there, that's a converted first down. Instead, they don't. The snap comes a, a split second too late. All of a sudden, Paschal makes that play. Then they get him in fourth and 25 on the last drive. I mean, really, to your point, it was... Um, it was one of the better defensive efforts I think we've seen from this Lions team. And last year, the Lions finished the season strong on defense. They look like they picked up not just where they left off, but maybe even better because of the presence of some of those young guys. Right. Now, that was interesting what Dan Campbell said after the game about the, the, the defense. They knew they were going to get hit, right? And, it was, you know, maybe even three times in a row, but then you're going to get the stop and you need it on the fourth time. You just get, there's a psychological component to me yeah. that he was trying to instill in his team, and he clearly did. And, like, and I think he also said, that, hey, look, we knew or that he knew his team was resilient to handle this. But the, when you zoom back, and you think of where this franchise was two years ago, yeah. where it was even a, a year ago for the first six, however many weeks, and you think of what they just did of coming in here on this stage with all the hype. Super Bowl night, by the Super, Super Bowl ceremony night, right? I, were there, you know, I don't know what the, I guess it was where Lambor, <laughs> Lombardi trophies out. Yeah. We've never seen them. Um, but, and to do it in that setting was just remarkable. But Ryan says, I'm here. How you doing, Ryan? Appreciate you joining us live, by the way. I said the Lions win made his weekend. I mean, I think a lot of Lions fans are going to feel that way. And Shoot, it made their next 10, 11 days. That's right. right. That's right. They're going to revel in this. That's the beauty of this. It's a Thursday night game. What's going to happen next week at Ford Field? The Seattle Seahawks coming. That place is going to be bonkers. I mean, for the Lions to get a win on this stage. And I'll tell you what, what the players said in the locker room after the game was, Hey, it's one. Like they, they celebrated it. They were happy, but it wasn't this like champagne popping ceremony. I mean, you know, Chauncey Gardner even said something. I think you were there for that one. He said, 
you know, winners know, right? Like, I, I saw it, right? I, I, I'm a winner. I came from Philly where, where we won some games, and I saw it in the locker room here. And, and I think I think that's the way the Lions have carried themselves all along this, this summer, and I think that's the way they're they're approaching this win today. Big, important, but not the end all be all. There's 16 more. Just to clarify what you're, what you're sorry, I don't want to be, uh, you know, Step on your toes or anything, yeah. but he, he what he was saying is winners recognize yeah. winners. Right. And we don't know anything of the Detroit Lions that way, but he got here and he's like, Oh, there's a winner, there's a winner, there's a winner, <laughs> looking around the locker room, right? Yeah. I mean that's kind of I mean, you know, maybe he's just you could say, Ah, you can write it off and be skeptical about it. He's just talking. But no or, they they believe that. They Taylor Becker said they came in here tonight, they knew <laughs> they were gonna win. And some might blame it on the people, yeah, were, yeah, yeah, on the people were missing. But I don't think No. But, you know, we were joking before the game, um, Arrowhead's a, a place I don't know that uh, any of us have ever been here before. 20 years. No, I've been <laughs> in the parking lot across yeah, the street. Yeah, yeah, across Kansas the parking lot. The Royals right. play. It's where my car is, way, 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 way <laughs> on the other side of the, uh, the parking lot over there. But we were joking before the game that this is a place that we've never been, you know, since we've been covering the Lions. They haven't been here since 2003. And I think you said, you know, the only other one I've been to is Vegas. And... That's where the Super Bowl is. And look, we're not saying we're going to the Super Bowl, but, but the joke that we were joking about before the game was, well, maybe this will be the rematch in Vegas. And that's, what that's I said the week about. that they'll say, well, Kelsey wasn't there for that one, and Chris Jones wasn't there, and they'll all be back. And maybe that's, you know. It's funny, I saw uh, Vahed Gregorian, you guys, the yeah. commerce of the Kansas City Star. I walked up to him and said the same thing. I said, are we going to see each other in Vegas? I actually said Houston, because I was thinking it was in Houston. I think that's where the Final Four are this year. Yeah, you know my basketball mind. Sorry. Wait, go back to last year at the Green Bay game. Yeah, nobody in the league wanted to play him back then. Right at that stage, and so, well, I, look, I will say that I think, you know, for the Lions to be that team, they're going to need that offense to start clicking again. You know, the the offense wasn't there tonight, and whatever it was, I mean, that, you know, we've talked a little bit this this summer about them maybe not having the receivers that they need. Uh, Marvin Jones had a, a drop, had a, you know another one go through his hands. Um, you know, Amon Ross St. Brown obviously had a nice game. Josh Reynolds came up with some big passes. I think Jameer Gibbs did some good things. David Montgomery did some good things. So they and still Goff have didn't. some pieces on offense. Goff didn't throw a pick. So they still have some pieces from offense, but they need that thing to, um, you know, to be clicking if they're going to be that team. That yeah, I mean, to me, that was DJ Shark, right? That, and I know he... he that presence. Right? And he struggled, not struggled. It wasn't there for the first part of last year. But once they got rolling, right. he was a big part of that. And they don't quite have that. They're banking on... Jameson Williams, right? The other thing, real quickly, about golf is that Kansas City's got a defensive line that, even without Chris Brown, Jones. is pretty good. Uh, Jones, sorry, is pretty good. Yeah. Right? Well, and, and they put pressure on him. Yeah, look, I, I mean, it's week one, right? The Lions offense isn't where it's going to be. The Chiefs defense isn't where it's going to be. Certainly, they didn't have Chris Jones, and that was a factor. But I don't think you can take anything away from this team, this game. Hugely important win for the Lions and where they're at, just the, the, the franchise, where this program is, where they want to go. Um, you know, and I think, you know, as you guys said, you know, Dan Campbell said it, players in the locker room, Taylor Decker said it. You know, they expected to win tonight. They did. They took care of business, and here we are, 1 0. And my last quick thought is what you and I were talking about during the game. This is the third straight year you look and seeing rookies out there thinking, oh, yeah. Keith, right? There were four of them, right? Branch and uh, Campbell, and then you talked Gibbs. about Gibbs and Laporta. Yeah. But that's, I mean, what does that say, right, to what Holmes is doing, what the front office is doing? I know part of Campbell's involved with some of that, but that, I think, is a difference, too. And now it's, a third, it's starting to become a pattern. Well, I, I think that's, you know, the exact right point that, you know, this is, team is going to be a problem for a lot of teams in the NFL, not just this year, but for years to come, as young as they are, as talented as they are at some spots. You know, maybe we're on the verge of the Lions being a, a pretty darn good team here. And look, it's, it's great. Let's it's spend crazy. the next hour trying to find our cars. Yeah. <laughs> I got a little That's bit good. more to write. Uh, I think <laughs> these guys do too. And then, yeah, yeah our, our cars are somewhere out there. Feels like I think they're in St. Louis. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Right down the highway. Somewhere, somewhere not, nowhere close to where we're at right now. But that'll do us from us here for us here at Arrowhead Stadium. Again, the Lions win their season opener against the Kansas City Chiefs. 21 20. 1-0, long weekend for the players. Uh, we'll be back next week at Ford Field when the Lions host the Seattle Seahawks. For Jeff Seidel, Sean Windsor, I'm Dave Burkett for Dot com.